Okay, the recording stopped, but here's the second part. So I put it on outer have this heated. I do about medium heat on this little thing. I put it between, I put it close to, it's slightly close to 300. Keep the camera on this, okay? And basically, I let it stay on one side for just like a few, not a few minutes. It's like, what's the word I can say? I don't, I usually turn my side back and forth, back and forth a little bit because I want to make sure that the sides brown evenly, you know, it won't be overburnt or anything. But also how you can tell that um, it's done, you will start see bubbles. And sometimes if you do it really well, it'll blow up like a cake. Okay. As you can see, we see here, haven't got there yet. But what I do sometimes, I go ahead and turn this. But usually when I do it early, you'll see some browning or some oh, it turning more white like a cracker. So let me turn this more over here to the heat where I'm feeling the heat at. I'm going to turn this up a little bit more to between 300 to 350. Okay. He's going to hold the camera on that while I'm checking on something else I'm cooking too. I'll be right back. So, uh, hello. How you guys doing? Good, good. Holding up? That's nice. Uh, I really don't know what I'm doing. My mom should be paying me, but she's not. As a cameraman, she should be paying me. Uh, but until she gets back, I guess I'm in charge of the recording now. So, uh... Oh, nope, never mind, she's back. <laughs> okay. I always when you're making a video, that's what I'm talking about. Now, I usually leave it for on the side for a few minutes and when it's not fully done, okay? Another tip or idea is that you can pre-make your bread and don't cook it all the way. Cook it partially and get yourself some parched papers, okay? And lay parched paper in between each one and put it in a Ziploc bag just for frozen foods. Take all the air out the Ziploc bag and put it in your freezer. And there you will. You have already pre-made 11 bread. Okay. Um, and that, that's going to definitely help me and my son out. Because some days I can make it fresh. But then there might be other days I might be kind of busy. So that way we have backup. That was another idea that the father had given me. After this, I'm making my own batch. I'm going to make it all on my own. All right, Shiraz. We don't we just when you make your badge, just don't forget about your mom. No, this is your badge. You can have now, your badge. I don't know if you can see this, but you see how it started bubbling up. So this is how I know that. No, I did pretty good with my batch and okay. everything, cause it'll start to blow up like a cake. Now, the tip that I just gave about freezing it and you know recooking it, you can put it in the oven. You just got to watch it though. You put it in the oven and flip it. But if you put it in the oven, it'll blow up like a a. a Peter bread, you know, to open it, it'll pop up like a balloon. I have seen that happen because I had done that before and stuff. So you can see how it starts to brown. Oh, be careful, son. Put something popping on you. I don't know. So it's starting to brown, but I want it to brown a little bit more. Okay. Why don't we just pause it and then play it when it starts? No, I want them to see how how to do this from the beginning to but end. But that's time consuming. Your phone, you just said your phone didn't have that much memory in the car. Okay, son. Oh, I'm usually just going to upload it and I have another place where I can put the video where it won't eat up my memory. Bye bye, everyone. Technical Wait. difficulties. Tell the truth. We were just talking about what you were just discussing. But anyway, let us get back focused on the unleavened bread. So you can see here it's starting to brown more okay and as it cooks you can see it, it starts to turn more white like a cracker you know okay 
And when you're cooking this bread, it produces a beautiful aroma because of the honey. And my, and my son can definitely tell when I'm cooking this bread because he can smell it. He said, oh, you're making bread. And when you smell the bread, oh, it has such a sweet aroma to remind us how sweet the word is. That word is so sweet to our soul, and exactly but why bitter to, to our flesh, bitter to our own bellies, our stomach. Okay. That's why she's terrible at hiding on it. Hiding what? Hiding that you're trying to make bread. Oh, yeah, because you can smell the aroma and stuff. Mm -hmm. Then I had to hide my dough, y'all. Cause he about to eat it up. You hold the camera. You can. I, I want to flip. Okay, you flip and I hold the camera. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we almost there. I want mine to brown a little bit more. Each to their own on how you cook it. And it's okay. also going to be a taste test made by me. Oh, a taste test. Well, we got to say that piece because in a few minutes we about to do Passover service. And if you don't understand how to keep Passover according to the new covenant. According to the Messiah, because we are operating in the what is, okay, which is the present. The Messiah is the Passover. Look up Passover and understand why the Messiah is. There's there's videos in the channel about giving you an understanding about how to keep the Passover in the time of the coronavirus. Also, there's videos that pertain to Sheol, so you can see why the Messiah, why the Messiah, the Son of God, who is the second Adam, why he is the Passover. Then you begin to understand why we have the washing of the feet. I can smell the chicken. Hold on. Go. I'm sorry about that. Why we have the washing of the feet and the um, breaking of bread and the drinking of the wine. If you cannot do the wine, you can do grape juice. If you have none of these items, and I'm speaking to the poor man, don't worry about it because you're covered. The Messiah is all these things. He is the bread. He is the wine, okay? He is all these things. Just pull your book out and submerge yourself in the Word to get an understanding of Passover, how we went from the Old Covenant to the New Covenant. It's a lot of spiritual things. And even the Old Covenant was teaching us spiritual mysteries to give us understanding about the New Covenant and also what is yet to come. Okay, do you see how much it's brown here? So when it when it's brown on both sides like that, I usually about to take mine out. And everything and turn on this side son let me see how this side look so i'm going to take this piece out this is brown enough for the way i like it um i usually have in a um some type of tupperware dish and i have a, like a napkin or a cloth to cover it to keep it warm and hot but because we're going to eat this right away that's why i put it on a plate like this okay i hope this helped i love you all and shalom and remember to continue get your hands off the bread son to preach salvation, that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Make sure the people receive salvation is written in Romans chapter 8. And make sure they are baptized by the water and the Holy Spirit. For those who have not received the Holy Spirit baptism, all you have to do is read the instructions in the, in the book of Luke as well as the gospel. For if you ask, you shall receive. If you knock, the door shall be open. If you seek, you shall find. All we have to do is in, in the name of Yahuwah's Son which is Yahushua HaMashiach. He is the Messiah, he is the Son of God, and he is the second Adam. Shalom. Bye.